Hi, kumusta? My name is Jennifer. I make Philippine travel updates. Today is December 14. Jennifer, last day. Tomorrow will be the last day of the red list restrictions, suspension of green list, diba? At yung December 15 lang yun. Uh, is there an update on that? Not yet. But let's start this update with airport advisory. Clark International Airport po reminds international passengers, kayo po, that the ECIF is free of charge. Yung uh, ECIF po health declaration form are free of charge. We would like to request everyone to remain vigilant against unauthorized websites that ask for payments regarding ECIF registration. You don't have to pay po. Free po yan. Libre. So do not worry about this po. There are websites that will tell you Philippine Health Pass is 49 euros. What? This is scam. So don't fall into these traps po. The, the health declaration, the ECIF is on the One Health Pass. One Health Pass. That's, that's This is the everything po. Everything is in here. This is where you register and this is free. Let's be clear on that. Now, UK. Now, UK has been a hot topic for red listing. And again, it was brought to the attention of the OH. Would UK be included on red list? They have reported more than 3,000 cases of Omicron. According to the Department of Health under Secretary Maria Verhere, they haven't reached the threshold. Right now, the UK's incidence rate is high, but their two-week and their one-week growth rate didn't reach the threshold. So for now, they're still part of yellow list. Um, the OH is monitoring the cases of all countries daily, and UK for now is still on yellow list. So that is really very reassuring then for combines in UK, no? Now, more, more, more OFWs, Filipinos, Balikbayans are coming home this Christmas. In fact, OWA expected 100,000 OFWs to come home this Christmas. And the number of OFWs going home this Christmas does not much have difference from the pre-pandemic period now. It is no longer unusual for someone to go home just for vacation because economic life abroad has already resumed, you guys. Uh, you went back to normal like middle of this year or early this year. Philippines, very different situation. We're just like going back to normal just towards end of this year. So, medyo late po dito. Meanwhile, Owahans Kakdak assured that the government is prepared to welcome the returning OFWs. Are you really prepared? Because... Diba? Um, things were going very well with a lot of countries, UAE, Saudi, Japan, you were on green list, you know, no more quarantine, and that improved the travel cap, no, it increased flight capacity. Pero since green list has been suspended, the travel cap issues is back. You know, we have Kababayans whose flight were cancelled, others were already at the airport and they were told that, sorry, your flight is cancelled. Uh, one subscriber shared that he boarded a flight and then some OFWs hindi nakasakay. So these things happen because, yep, travel cap is an issue again because everybody needs to quarantine. And speaking of quarantine, where is this IATF announcement? Nothing yet. As of speaking, this is 10 or oh, 10 50 p.m. Wala pa po. Wala pa ang announcement. So maybe there may be big chances. Why is the announcement so late? Are there big changes? Who knows? But here, here, guys, here, here. They had their meeting this afternoon. I, I, I wouldn't believe they're still having their meetings <laughs> until now. This was like seven hours ago. But OWA, OWA admits quarantine hotels for Filipino workers are now at critical levels. Puno ana, guys. In an interview with OWA chief Hans Kakdak, the number of arriving OFWs returning to the country is averaging 3,000 daily. Malapit na tayong mag-reach na mag-14 to 15,000 daily arrivals. That's why they are looking for quarantine facilities already outside of National Capital Region. So for our dear OFWs, don't be surprised po kung mapunta kayo sa ibang region sa Calabarzon kasi yan puno na po sa NCR. So far, currently there are 12,000 OFWs staying in quarantine hotels in Metro Manila. Out of the 200, 12,500. Napakadami. So another suggestion din namin sa um, government po, bakit pa po pinaghihiwalay ang OFW? Kung mag-asawa, isama na po. Kung magkapatid, kasamang nag-travel, kasama sa bahay, 
isama na yan sa isang hotel room sana. Wala namang sense na ihiwalay pa. Pagsaya na lang po ng waiver. Sana ganun na lang po. But anyways, again, they're covering other areas po. Region 4A. Because nga, um, it's, it's fully booked na. Even if they cover 5-star hotels, um, budget hotels, hindi pa rin kasha. It's not enough. Maybe delays po in that swab testing result. Kasi nga, punuan po, very busy. The government is back. It's, and it's not just a quarantine facility issue, no? But it's also money. The government is spending more than 30 million pesos per day. Per day para sa quarantine ng OFWs. That's a lot of money. And this is why Administrator Hans Kakdak is pushing. We want to at least go back to the shorter quarantine for the fully vaccinated with negative test result. Tomorrow, December 14, today, we will have a meeting with the IATF and we will push that. Isusulong namin yung shorter quarantine. Good job, sir. Please push that. Maybe that's what's keeping their meeting so long, but... Ah, the decision, we're waiting for it. The announcement, we're waiting for it. But thank you, sir. Let's hope the IATF would listen. Because other countries na nga are loosening up. Because Omicron apparently um, won't give you severe. No, but it's more transmissible. So, yan yung issue. The important thing is to get vaccinated. And the Philippines will have their vaccination days again. I think tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow po. So, sa mga hindi pa po nababakunahan sa Pilipinas, magpa-vaccinate na po tayo. While on areas po na apektado ng tropical depression, yes po, for those who will be um, dadaanan ng bagyo po, please be safe po. Let's listen to the government announcements po. If there are any announcement on evacuation, let's listen po. Um, yes, be safe po tayo. Well, let's talk about flight advisory. For the month of December in Cebu po, Cathay Pacific, yan Hong Kong to Cebu, Cebu to Hong Kong four times weekly. And then yung papunta ng Hong Kong one times lang. And Qatar Airways, wow, Doha to Cebu, Cebu to Doha 11 times weekly na po, napakadaming flights ng Qatar. I've been hearing issues of kababayans also in Cebu na de-delay yung mga uh, swab results. Just a suggestion to the Cebu airport po. Sana po, please remove the, the test upon arrival at the airport. Kasi our travelers already have a negative test result. Tapos isaswab na naman sa hotel. Parang redundant na po yung swab sa airport. Baka it's, it's just, baka it's contributing sa mga delays. So siguro sapat tanggalin na lang po. Kasi hindi naman makakalabas yung kababayan natin with that result. Anyways, going back, there's also Scoot Airlines four times weekly, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, and Jeju Air December 17 only, and Jin Air December 22. There's also Philippine Airlines for those who want, who want to land in Cebu, coming from the U.S. Yeah, and there's LA to Cebu, Cebu to LA, two times weekly, every Thursday and Saturday. So if you want to land in Cebu, then you must book within the scheduled dates. And then San Francisco to Cebu as well. And then there's Cebu to San Francisco via Manila. Yeah, and then Narita to Cebu one time weekly. So that's Cebu. Well, this is the vaccination status in the Philippines. Wow, guys, 54.9 million Filipinos received their first dose. While 37.8 million are fully vaccinated. Bumabaha po tayo ng vaccine. Actually, uh, the Philippines has so many vaccines na available. So, uh, supply is not an issue anymore. So, get vaccinated po. Let's get vaccinated. Let's protect ourselves and our family. No? And then, we have booster shots. Yan, if naglaps na po ng 6 months, get your booster shots. 809,000 have received booster shots. I will be among that number very soon. I'm gonna have my vaccine together with my mom. Finally, after many months, she will be vaccinated soon. While since the Philippines ball is becoming a low-risk country, Germany will remove us in their high-risk list. So, good news for our kababayans in Germany. Philippines will be removed from their high-risk list along with Romania, Iran, and Armenia, and Mongolia. So travelers from the Philippines will soon, if you're fully vaccinated or you have recently recovered from COVID, you will no longer have to register your entry before traveling to Germany. Moreover, travelers from the Philippines will also be released from this quarantine requirement. Yay! Good job! Good job, tanggal tayo sa red list ng Germany. This is good news for kababayans in Germany. 
So this is all right now, guys. When um, if they um give us the update for the December 16 to 30 rules and red listing, I will give it to you. But for now, this is all. I'm also waiting po. So as soon as we found out, I'll let you know. But this is all for today po. As of December 14, 11 o'clock p.m. Stay safe and God bless. Bye!